Carlos, a hardworking and humble immigrant living in the United States, supports his two kids and wife running a successful restaurant. However, with the coronavirus pandemic, his business has really struggled and is barely able to make ends meet. On top of that, he was recently shut out of the major banks like Chase and Bank of America to receive a business loan from the Paycheck Protection Program for unknown reasons. All Carlos wants to do is help support his family and community by providing great food at affordable prices. Feeling hopeless, Carlos remembered his friend Michael recently told him about the promise of Ethereum and decided to take the leap. Before you find out what Carlos discovers, if you want to learn more about the blockchain, crypto, Web3, decentralized finance, and NFTs, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. I'd love to welcome you to the team. Now, let's jump in. What is Ethereum? As Carlos begins to dive into the Ethereum rabbit hole, he is immediately struck by the possibilities. He first learns about the permissionless open source community of Ethereum and how anyone around the world has read or write access to the Ethereum blockchain. Second, he is impressed by the decentralized nature of Ethereum, meaning no middlemen, lower fees, and a censorship resistant platform. Third, he learns about smart contracts, self-executing contracts or applications that are written in code that anyone can build. Importantly, he understands that smart contracts are composable, like building blocks, and can be built on top of each other or utilized in all kinds of unique combinations within the ecosystem. At this point, Carlos is beyond thrilled about Ethereum and wants to understand a bit more about how it exactly works. So, Carlos learned that like Bitcoin, Ethereum has a blockchain at the core of its ecosystem. Further, Carlos learned that Ethereum currently follows a similar consensus process as Bitcoin, proof of work. Proof of work is out of the scope of this video, but in short, it is how networks like Bitcoin and Ethereum can be decentralized, secure, and open. In proof of work, nodes or computers called miners help maintain the Ethereum ecosystem and earn Ether for their work, the native Ethereum currency. Users pay a fee in Ether called gas when interacting with the Ethereum ecosystem. Unlike Bitcoin, the Ethereum blockchain was also designed to support smart contracts or applications. Developers around the world can build applications or smart contracts in Solidity, Ethereum's general purpose native programming language. Carlos knew this was huge. The flexibility of Solidity and the open and interoperable nature in the Ethereum ecosystem have facilitated the development and adoption of disruptive applications in finance, gaming, and art, most notably. At this point, Carlos knew he had to keep digging down the rabbit hole of Ethereum and beyond. Carlos kept seeing ETH2 and was curious what it meant. He learned that while Ethereum is an incredible innovation, it currently has a few issues and could be improved upon. Most notably, Ethereum has scalability and environmental issues and could potentially be more secure. Transaction fees can price out many people and the architecture is not efficient. This is out of the scope of this video, but most notably, Ethereum 2.0 involves transitioning to a different consensus process called proof of stake, as well as a few important architecture changes. Now, Carlos kept diving into the different use cases gaining traction in the Ethereum ecosystem in hopes of saving his restaurant business. At the end of the day, that's all he wanted to do. First stop, NFTs. It was all the hype these days, and Carlos was determined to understand them. In short, he learned that NFTs were unique data like a piece of digital artwork and could be verifiable on the blockchain, a powerful opportunity for creators and consumers to interact. Up next, decentralized finance. Carlos was still very desperate for a loan after having been denied from major banks. He would quickly learn that DeFi would warmly welcome him without knowing who he was. He discovered Ave and flash loans, and once he had hope again. Carlos could get a loan from Ave by providing ETH and receiving money back in DAI, a stablecoin. Carlos could save his restaurant from shutting down, and alas, he could finally sleep tonight knowing he would be able to take care of his two kids and wife at least a little while longer. Thank you to Ethereum, DeFi, and its incredibly special community, Carlos was able to get a loan without no one knowing his identity and with minimal fees. Now he has a happy family to support. That's all for this video. Till next time.